everybody good morning i hope that you're all doing well and that you're having a blessed day so far i've been meditating this morning and there's a song that came to my spirit well i made up the song <laughs> i made up the song i was saying um if there was one thing that i, I had left to do on this earth what would it be and i would say that it will be to have the word of God in my mouth to have the word of God on my lips if I had one thing to do oh, oh, oh it'll be to lift you up oh my Jesus well I made it up I don't know what the song is in my spirit right now um, I've just been meditating this morning and I'm so glad that the Lord has been with me uh, on my walk to work, on my, just throughout the, throughout the week, it's already on Thursday when I'm making this video and God has been good, he has been gracious, he's been wonderful. Today I want to speak to you about um, John 3. I know that you guys might have noticed that I'm talking a lot about John 3. I don't know if I don't know if I, I mentioned this in my last video, but yes, John 3 is a scripture that I've been meditating on a lot these days. And there's a part that says that Christ must become more and we must become less. It speaks about the time, it speaks about discipleship, first of all. It speaks about Jesus Christ as the Son of God. It speaks about our relationship with God and how um because i call christianity a relationship christianity is not a, a religion it's a relationship that you have with god and it speaks about how our relationship with god should be and and the scripture i wanted to share with you on this morning is um um the part that says it must become more and there must become less a christian that has holy spirit in them a christian that has the the the, the word of god in them the, the word of god takes governance over their lives over their thinking over their heart over their everything that has to do with you the holy spirit will take control and when you meditate on the word of god when you pray as much when you speak to god as much you converse with him the way you were supposed to it it allows the holy spirit to guide your steps it it allows the holy spirit to advise you on what you need to do and what needs to be yes on what you need to do all in general so um this morning i want to just ask you this whenever whatever time you're watching this whenever you find yourself abiding more in sin whenever you find yourself that you are it's easy for you to gossip it's easy for you to say something bad about someone it is easy for you to get angry over something it is easy for you to overreact over whatever situation it is you must know that god or the presence of god has diminished or you're not spending as much time with god the way you're supposed to you're not spending as much time with 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 yes with the word of god in his presence as you're supposed to because when you spend that much time in his presence when you spend that much time with god when you spend that much time with him it you it will be more of you sorry you will be more of him and less of yourself when i say less of yourself i say less of the flesh because it speaks of the flesh because when you are a christian or when you are born again or when you are a child of god it is him that has to take um um dominion over your body it should be the one that has to take dominion has to take governance has to take power over your body and you will be so assured that whatever comes your way that god is with you and even when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death or the shadow of sickness the shadow of disappointment the shadow of pain god will be with you and you feel his presence you will know that god is with you regardless of the pain regardless of the Mis misfortune or whatever it might come your way you would still feel god's presence even in the midst of turmoil you will still feel his presence so i want to just remind you today be more of christ and less of yourself because the holy spirit is a great advisor you could want to maybe you might want to overreact 
or react over uh, um, an insult, but the Holy Spirit will guide you on how you should react to that insult, how you should react, and that that's what will, make, will, will set you apart from the world. I am not saying that you are not going to have, you should not have character. You should still have character, but at the same time, you need at the same time, you need to be guided by the Holy Spirit and take on the character of Christ. Be guided by Christ. Be governed by Christ. Be more like Him and less of yourself. In today's world, of course, with everything that is going on, everybody wants to act on themselves and we forget that God needs to guide us. We we our flesh can disappoint your flesh can mislead you your flesh might mislead you to leave that woman to leave that man your flesh might mislead you to leave that job because you don't you're not gaining as much as you're supposed to you might feel like frustrated you might be frustrated of course you have to take uh, 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 you have to take um action or do certain things to bring things across but there are times where the holy spirit need to guide all the time, not even at times, there are things that God, the Holy Spirit needs to guide you on. Or else, you are going just to be miserable. <laughs> I'm going to speak again about people that, um, for example, you want to relocate to a certain country. You want to go there, but you are not in God's timing. You, you are not allowing God that is in you to guide you and make the right step, take the right steps. You are going to find yourself miserable so whatever situation that you take on today fill yourself with them like i like this one say fill me up till i overflow i wanna run over thank you so much for watching have yourself a lovely day further goodbye okay,